Hello and welcome to Tutorial to You. My name is Yannick and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add localization to your ASP.NET Core application. Now localization means that you have a multi-language site in the end. So if someone is living in Germany and he visits your website, then he maybe can see some German text. And if he's located in the United States, for example, he will see English text. Or if he comes from Spain, then he will see some text in Spanish. Well, we will do that with a default model view controller template right here. And well, to be honest, the only thing that we really need is the Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC localization package right here. So simply go to tools, open up NuGet package manager and then manage packages for solution and search for that one right here. Now, let me tell you that you can follow along with this video, but I suggest that you just watch this video and afterwards you can find the link for the blog article with all the content and code in the description below. So watch the video to the very end and afterwards you can go to the blog article and copy over the code. Great, so now let me just install that package here for my project. I will just have to scroll a little bit down and we are ready to go. So first of all, what we will do is we will go into any kind of view. So I will open up a views folder, open up the home folder and here's our index CSHTML, which is like our startup page, right? It's our home page. So let me just remove everything here and we need two things. First of all, we need to start using the correct namespace, which is Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot MVC dot localization first thing and afterwards we have to inject the I view localizer now let me call it localizer there we go and now we can already start using the localizer to let's say we want to create an H1 we are using the add sign to call the localizer just like this localizer now we add the brackets and then we pass in a key. Let's say the key is welcome. So what this actually does in the end is you will see that just in a second once we create our resource files, but it just checks like a dictionary for a key and a value. So for everyone who speaks French, we would show a specific French message for welcome. For everyone who is Spanish, we will show a specific Spanish message, for example. I guess you get the idea. Alrighty, so now that's set, let's get started. Let's create our resource files. Now, if you're interested in ASP.NET Core development, you should also check out our C Sharp Progress Academy, which is a self-paced online course that teaches you ASP.NET Core Angular unit testing and C Sharp software design patterns with a 14-day money-back guarantee. And I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C Sharp developer. So go ahead and check it out. You can find the link in the description below or popping up right now at the top right corner. If you are familiar with the MVC template right here in ASP.NET Core, you know that we have a path matching. So if we have a controller and we call it home controller and we want to show views for that home controller, we have to put them in the directory views home index. So the index page right here is pointing well to the home controller right here to that index I action result that we got right here on screen, right? Now we create an entirely new folder. So right click on your project Let's add a new folder right here. Let's call it resources. Inside of that resources, we will create another folder, which is called views. So new folder again, let's call it views. And inside of that views folder, we create another folder and that folder is called home. So just like our home controller, pay attention on that. So if your controller is called employee and you got employee views, you don't want to call that uh, folder home you want to call it employee just name it like your controller right now inside here we have to follow along with the same pattern since we want to show localized information inside of our index CSHTML so our index view we're going to create new files so add and then go ahead and add a new item and then search for resource there we go give it a second to load resources file you want to pick that and now let's call it index so just like the view index is HTML and we will call it index right here dot. And now you add the culture code or the language code, however you want to name it. Let's say for English, it is en dash us dot res x. So that's like the file ending for the resource files. Let's add it. You can now see that we will get to a page which is looking kind of like a database. In the end, it's kind of a dictionary. And here we can add key and values. 
So if we go to our index page again, we can see that we want to show some content for the key welcome. So as it's highlighted right here, this is our key. Oh, and by the way, make sure to subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming C Sharp, .NET, ASP.NET, Entity Framework and whatever C Sharp related content. So subscribe to our channel right now. And here we can now write down welcome. There we go, welcome. And then the value, so the actual content that we want to display. So let's say welcome to our uh, site. Great, now we can add a comment here, but that's not really too important. So let's repeat that step. Let me just close that file. And I'm located in Germany, so I will just right click on the home folder again and add another new item. And again, I want to pick a resource file, so it's just already selected right here. So I'm going to call it index.de de. So that's for the German language. So index.de de. Let me just add it. I will show you how well the browser in the end will find out how to pick the correct one. Great. So now here again, I have to write down the key in like the language that we're using right here. And since this is English, the key is in English, we will write down the key here. Now I will write some German text here. If you want to hear it, it's Willkommen auf unserer Seite. And now we can start configuring, well, the actual middleware and all of that inside of our program so that we can show the specific content based on the user's location. So let's move to our program.cs and I will now, well, bring the solution explorer a little bit to the right. Awesome. Let's get started by modifying our add controllers with views call here. So in addition to that, we will just add another method, which is add view localization. So just write that down at view localization and now we have to configure how we want to well provide the information about the countries and we want to use the suffix i will just explain what exactly that does but let me just we quick start using that one here because it's so incredible long that i will just go to the very top start using microsoft ASP.NET core mvc razor there we go now i can just remove that one here makes it easier to read so add view localization and then language view localization expand the format well such an incredible long name and then we have the suffix so it basically means that he's taking a look at the view right here on the right side again let me just bring that over index.de and then dash de well that's the culture info code right and that's exactly what he means when he says suffix so based on that he will find the correct uh well resource file or the correct content to display so that's the first part. Now, next up, we need to define the resource folder so that he knows where he can actually find the content, right? So we're gonna configure it by calling builder.services.addLocalization. And then we create an options object. We configure the options right here and we say options.resources path is equals to just resources. So if you decide to put the resources folder somewhere else, yeah, just pay attention here, then you have to configure a different path for sure. Just make sure that the path is matching. And next up, we have to configure all the matching or supported cultures. So all the languages that our multi-site language is supporting then. So again, call the builder.services.configure of type request localization options. Okay, now inside here, we will again, let me just move that. Again, configure an options object options there we go again i will just zoom out so that you can see the entire code builder service configure request localization options and inside of the options we will now define our supported cultures which are our supported languages so let's create a new array and inside here we will create two well culture info objects so it's a new array and inside here we got new culture info and here we just provide the actual code so enus for example and then another one for the german language for example it will be de de there we go now we can just set up a default language so let's go to options default request culture now we can set it new request culture and again he is just trying to import a new namespace here or he will implement one so using Microsoft ASP.NET Core localization. We will bring that in as a using directive. Let me just remove that here. 
new request culture and again we can use like ENUS so this is our default language which is for sure very important and then options dot we just now have to configure like what options are actually available so we make use of our supported cultures array here so supported UI cultures we set this to the supported cultures and that's a huge spelling mistake here so let me just right click and rename supported cultures there we go awesome so now this is where we say okay our user interface our application supports ENUS DEDE and all of that great so let me just add a semicolon here to close it now we are nearly done and that's why I said like follow along and simply copy over the code later on because like you can really just copy paste it from our blog article now the last step that we have to do is after building the um, application here so after calling builder build we need to call app dot use request localization and then we are good to go so now we are done let's just start our application let's hit start right here and as you can see he now decided to show me some German text so let me open my browser and don't get confused that it's German let me just switch to the network tab and let me restart or let me just uh, update the page right here so you can see all of our requests and this one here is well actually loading the index page and if I just scroll down a little bit more you can see the accept language header right here and it's set to DE DE because I'm located in Germany right now and that's why he decided to show me the German text now we can also well do that manually if we just go to the URL add a slash right here add a question mark and then as a query we add UI dash culture equals to let's say EN dash US so the English code let's hit enter and you'll be able to see welcome to our site if I just change that back to DE DE it's German again and as I said by default the browser will submit that header so my uh, default language and then ASP.NET Core or our system will automatically grab it and based on that show me the localized text now that's incredibly awesome it's super powerful and a lot of applications need to provide that functionality and one last thing that I want to show you is if you go back to your application let me just shut that down and we move to our home controller because right now inside of the index page we are using the iView localizer right to show some specific text but maybe you already want to get that localized text inside of a controller to display it in the end that's definitely something that you want to use pretty often so in that way what you could do is to just bring over let me just copy the code right here we can bring over a private read only i string localizer now we grab it from the dependency injection so if you have no clue about that check out our video on dependency injection it's really a good video explaining you everything in detail now we got that one we can assign the values here let me just set that to lowercase and we can say localizer equals to localizer awesome so now we have an instance and if we now want to use it let's say for the title or whatever we could simply go ahead and say var uh, localized title and then I just want to give an example right equals to now we grab our localizer and then we can simply use it as before with our dictionary or kind of dictionary just put in the name or the key right here which will be or which is welcome right again as I said take a look right here this is our key welcome which is pointing to the value so this is how you can actually use the localizer inside of your controllers to get the values and then you just pass it inside of your view and the rest will get handled automatically awesome so that's it for this video thanks for watching i hope you have learned something new and if you did subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos and make sure to check out our c-shop progress academy because if you are interested in boosting your c-shop skills and your c-shop career i'm pretty sure that this is the perfect course for you so thanks for watching and i'll see you back in the next video